Harry Ball. I don't know about you, but sometimes when I wake up first thing in the morning, I'll have a room, some really wonderful realizations. As soon as I get up from that sleeping state, some new aspect of joyfulness, of freedom, of Krishna is right there, fresh, fresh in my mind. So it happened again this morning. It happens almost every morning. I hate to go to sleep at night. It's such a waste of time. But now that I'm thinking about it, maybe I should relish going to sleep knowing that when I wake up in the morning, there's going to be something really fresh and new waiting, some new surprise. Well, maybe that'll help for me to just go to sleep. Yeah, what a waste. <laughs> okay, so this is what happened this morning. I woke up and the verse from Ishra Upanishad, the invocation, was floating around. I, I was actually absorbed in the verse. And what I got out of it was how Fault finding is so offensive. And that's not just fault finding with someone else. That's fault finding with anything and everything. If we find fault with anything, that means we're not taking this, the purport of this verse from Ishopanishad. Seriously. Okay, so here's the verse. It isn't kindergarten stuff. It's just, it's a building block of devotional life. All right. Live with my Sanskrit. Om Purnam Adahat Purnamidam Purnat Purnam Udachite Purnasya Purnamadeya Purnameva Vasishite Translation The personality of Godhead is perfect and complete. Okay, you know, <laughs> you can just stop there, really. But, I mean, it says it all, doesn't it? Perfect and complete. How are you going to find faults, right? <laughs> Personality of God it is perfect and complete. All right, just, just don't interrupt. Do the verse. Yeah, okay, start again. Translation. The personality of Godhead is perfect and complete. And because he is completely perfect, all emanations from him, such as this phenomenal world, are perfectly equipped as complete wholes. Just get absorbed in that. This material world is perfect and complete because it's an emanation from the complete perfect. Whatever is produced of the complete whole is also complete in itself. Because he is the complete whole, even though so many complete units emanate from him, 
He remains the complete balance. Okay. <laughs> So, you want to find fault? There's arrangement for that. But it's going to be conducted under the material energy. There's no room for it in the spiritual world. There's no room for it in transcendence. There's no room for it in the complete whole. Because the complete whole is perfect and complete. Which means it's going to be under the jurisdiction of the illusory energy. Get it? <laughs> it's a huge stumbling block. Find fault with anyone or anything. And that doesn't mean that we take this verse seriously. Somehow it's an impersonal view. Oh, no. It's not an impersonal view. Oh no. It's a glimpse into the perfect personality of Godhead. So, the next time we catch ourselves finding fault with this or finding fault with that, we should know coming under the supervision of the illusory energy. Because this verse tells us there's no fault. It's a complete whole. Either under the jurisdiction of the divine energy or the jurisdiction of the illusory energy. If you go with fault finding, you are under the jurisdiction of the illusory energy. In other words, you're in Maya. <laughs> Choice is always ours. I choose no fault finding. And I'm working at it because it's a really bad habit and I've indulged in it for quite a while. That means no fault finding with others, no fault finding with the world in general, no fault finding with the president, no fault finding with other people, whatever they may be doing. It doesn't mean, you know, I particularly like what they're doing. That's another thing. But that's what they're doing. I may see a better way, a more blissful way, as this verse describes here. In other words, I may see people fault-finding. <laughs> But I have this verse, this instruction from the Supreme Personality of Godhead. And I know that their burdens and their unhappiness can be lifted by taking proper shelter. So I may want to try to say something, not finding fault, just trying to point another direction. Hey, you're chewing on dry leaves and poison ivy. How'd you like some nice subji? <laughs> hey, Krishna. But that also means not finding fault with myself. I can use that same line of preaching with myself. Hey, you're chewing on dry leaves and poison ivy. How would you like some nice subject?